Hello. Uh, hopefully this is recording right. I'm just doing a really quick video on uh, what talents and how to build uh, Maestro for uh, maximizing damage when you're uh, low on damage early on. This was uh, as per request. Um, but the point of it is that you don't need incredibly high skillage to do it and granted i actually think 55 is relatively high compared to you know 99 percent of the player base um <clears throat> but you don't need to rely on crystal countdown for all of your damage there's tons of account upgrades that you can focus on and certain ways to build your maestro so here we go this is actually a really low damage range just because i have almost nothing in lucky horseshoe which is going to be one of your highest um damage talents to go for along with bliss and chips so i'm gonna go ahead and reset this and we'll show you so current damage range is this I'll show you how much lucky horseshoe can really buff that up So, so for tab three, uh, coin toss is irrelevant basically for um, active play. So if you're worried about active play, you don't really need to put any points into coin toss unless you're bossing with this maestro uh, preset. Um, that being said, uh, coin toss does help for. AFK, so if you are active and AFKing on the same preset, like a hybrid, you can put points into it. I wouldn't recommend it unless you have an overabundance of points, as Tab 3 has some pretty good talents in it. You're going to want to max skillage damage, though. This is going to be... This is going to be your main source of damage, but the thing is, you don't need to push it insanely high. You just need to have, you know, a, a relatively moderate amount i would say like you want to push to at least 40 skillage because that is relatively obtainable from majority of players with not as much time investment and you can actually do that afk you don't need to use a crystal countdown so um you're also going to want to trip uh, want to max triple jab the it won't reflect in your sheet damage, but you do need it to lower the minimum amount of damage you need to cap rams. After that, um, you can go into J-Man is better, and uh, skill is statue, but as far as max damage is concerned, uh, clever clover obels will technically add slightly more. It's nothing in tab 3 really helps past this point so i would go into jamin was better so you can pump lucky horseshoe more and then skill of statues which will help your feasty which technically helps your damage somewhat um because it, it will boost uh, your damage pots so i'm gonna go ahead and put the um Uh, and then after that, it's kind of whatever you're feeling like. Most some most people go into Transfusion. Uh, you can go into Lucky Charms. You want to put one point to Crystal Countdown if you're active because it's still not fixed. Clever Clover Obel sucks really, really bad. But, I mean, to put it this way, I have... This is my Obel pages, and I'm only getting 113 luck. So, if I were to max this, it would give me... <sighs> And it's not that bad. It would give me some, an okay amount of luck, but we'll leave those points for now. We'll see how much that goes up. In fact, do I have a book? I'll book it for the hell of it. Just to see. Better not be a 160. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so... Anyway, tab two, you're going to want to go for max damage, um, lucky hit, and you're also going to need two punch man. Uh, if you don't have two punch man skilled at all, and you have three triple jab, triple jab actually does nothing. You require two punch man. Uh, fun little side note. Um, so go ahead and max those two, and then you're going to want to max lucky horseshoe. Um, and you can just see... The damage will go up 
uh, very low right now because I don't have tab one. Tab one's actually where a lot of your base damage modifiers will come from, like basically Gilded Sword, just because um, M-Man doesn't have any weapon power scaling in tab two, like the other classes do. Uh, fluky fab fluke, Flucky Fabrics, whatever, however you say this, uh, it's really bad. Uh, this skill, just really terrible. Um, I honestly wouldn't recommend it because it, while it does give some damage, you, tab two is a very greedy tab, and I would say, come on out, Crystal. Like you, you have so many things to max in here that this always feels wasteful to me, for how very little it gives. Indiana attack. Um, I would say always go ahead and max this, just because. Even if you're not into the one-shot whip range, which is like a 630k damage, I want to say, or something like that. I guess it's technically changed with level 160 books. Um, the crits, it basically, depending on your crit chance, it'll still one-shot. Um, and even if it doesn't, the whip damage on crystals will sometimes help. So it's just, I find it useful enough to max, but... Um, just depends on how many points you have to you know spread around uh gimme gimme if you're gonna active is insane max that rares everywhere same thing ka-ching same thing breaking the bank if you're afk um or if you're crazy and are doing 20 minute active sessions where you're actually utilizing it properly but i don't really recommend that either um and then yeah come on out crystals if you're active um but this is, again, max damage. So these are the three skills that you really want for sheet damage. Uh, and then whip for if you're activating rams. So this is going to be your bread and butter for ram killing build. And then tab one, we'll have these. Max those. Max your luck. You can already see my uh, damage range is higher than it was before just because of lucky horseshoe. Um, so from tab three, we want to max these three. That's your main sources of damage. The crit damage generally is helpful for, um, crystal kills. Uh, feather flight, if you're active, is also really good. Um, but again, max damage. So if you want to get the most out of your damage here, um, you're going to want the speed you're gonna, you're gonna want to get uh, any any amount of speed will help the alchemy bubble that gives you base damage based on your speed so both agility and feather flight will give minimal damage same thing with wisdom and mana uh, due to these bubbles uh, um, this bubble this bubble and this bubble so HP, MP, and then the three stats, and Feather Flight will all marginally help damage, as you can see here. You see the damage range goes up slightly. And if you got the points for it, might as well. With Maestro, it's all about stacking as many sources as you can, just because they really just don't have a lot. Um, after this point, you basically out of good skills uh, most people go into happy dude knuckle buster helps with crystal kills if you're below the damage range for it uh, extra bags if you don't want to make a preset for it and you want to push stamps doesn't really matter i mean eventually you'll just get to max everything in this tab this tab uh, maestro specifically gets tons and tons of uh talent points so so that would be basically your three tabs set up for max damage. And then for star talents, you just want to basically, I mean, eventually you'll just push everything, but you want your Dungeonic damage, your Frothy Malk, um, Mega Crit helps. I, I need to redo this whole page. Um, but yeah, uh, Quest Chungus is going to be, again, one of your bigger sources of damage from um, your star talents. Uh, which means do all your quests. Okay, so that's basically where you're going to get damage from in your talents. And this does give an okay amount of crit damage, so it's not terrible to level. Uh, I'm not keeping this preset anyway, though. Um, as far as gear goes, weapon power gear doesn't really help all that much. 
for instance, 42 damage, or 42 weapon power only gives, you know, roughly 100k uh, max damage, which on other classes it would be tremendously more. Um, but uh, total damage sources are very strong. So 20% total damage and 7 weapon power is comparable to you know your main class weapon stuff like that opals is going to be your best source of damage in the ring slot i have one of my other character don't really feel like bringing it over but the luck it gives is actually ugh, you know what i'll bring it over um pretty tremendous uh man it's pain um but basically opals is going to be your best ring apart from that um the ram ring because it has percent damage on it will be your next best damaging ring i personally recommend time rings or double goopy if you're going to be active um but again the weapon power very it does very very little three weapon power giving basically 10k um for chains if you're going for max damage you're going to want luck chains um after that the total damage chains but they are inferior uh, personally, I recommend AFK chains if you're AFKing, or um, attack speed chains if you're um, active. Money chains are also okay if you're active as well, um, because ideally you want to get damage from sources that aren't... Basically, my, my philosophy is to try to get as much damage from account-wide bonuses. So, so that's going to be like your equipment loadout. Um, as far as... Again, Kizor Helm, or Chizor Helm, Chizor Helm, Chizor Chest, um, are actually pretty massive upgrades towards um, Maestro damage. And actually, unfortunately, the Chizor uh, shoes are also very good. You just want to pump your luck stat as high as possible. So I did say we were going to check this, um, just to give you an idea of how badly this scales uh, we're at 1207 luck this gave 51 luck so for 125 talent points it's uh really not great same thing here we're at 1258 basically another 50 something there but that did raise my damage uh, again slightly it's good um so you know, if you're struggling for damage, those are sources of it. And, uh, you know, I could put, you know, a keys or, um, chest on. I could put a cheese or helm on. I could go put cheese or, um, shoes rolled with luck. Cheese or pants rolled with better luck. These, actually, cheese or pants, unfortunately, don't have luck starting on them. So they kind of hurts. Um, uh, but I don't actually think there's really any other better alternatives because pants in the game kind of just suck. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, cheese or pants. Um, pray you get luck on them. Um, as far as tools go, you know, you want to have luck on them. Um, so, now another huge source of damage that often goes un unappreciated is base damage pots. Base damage from these potions are not soft cap through the damage formula, so they actually help Maestro a lot more. Well, I mean, they actually help all classes fine, but the other classes have so much more damage that the effect of them is far less noticeable. On Maestro, just because you have a lower damage range, the relatively large increase from, you know, this much base damage is far more noticeable. So, for instance, boom. Look at that. It's like 60k damage or whatever. Quick maths. Um, from one food slot, which is, you know, pretty sizable. Same thing here. Even just 10k from these small potions, it's, you know, quite good um, compared to, um, you know, what other classes generally we'll see. Um, also speed pots, again, anything that increases the alchemy bonuses, well, so even decent speed pots you wouldn't think give much damage, and they don't, but 8k damage, everything adds up. Um, kebabs are gonna be huge on Maestro, 
again, anything with percent damage is massive. Um, so do your picnic daily quests. Uh, that will be very, very, very good source. Uh, cards are another source of tremendous damage for Maestro. So right now we're at 780. Um, just the Doctor Deficus alone but just pushes us to 900. Um, and here's a curious little thing: the Ram card generally is best, the second best damage card on all the other classes due to their double what or their um to have two weapon powder scaling on maestro it actually falls behind the uh, percent damage from blood bones and snowman so we go up to 934 but with the blood bones 981 it's actually a massive change one mil but you still put it on if you want max damage this would be like if you're sampling um and then pincerman card uh, and then we go for luck, 20 base luck, boom, and the luck is pretty good, 110, or 1.1 1, 1 mil going to 1.12, so like 20-ish K, something like that, boom, bam, uh, and then apart from that, the cheese or card, now that everyone can actually get it, also helps with the um, the shrine, which is, the shrine is going to be one of your most massive increases, I'll show in a second. Uh, the boost food effect also helps, 1.13, 1. 1.0, oh, well, helps if I actually equip food. Um, let's demonstrate that, let's go ahead and put, you know, all this food on. Um, and in fact, I mean, if we really wanted to get stupid, I could put these. Wait, is that the exact same? No, the bullets are slightly higher. Um, so we go 1.3 mil or 1.37 mil all the way up to 1.38. It's okay. Um, cards can do a lot. Uh, your card set, Bosses and Nightmares, is going to be your most important. Um, without it, you know, you lose like uh, 200k there so yeah it's big big huge um ooh, we're slow get you these back on um as far as ovals go damage ovals are going to be your best bet so like if you're really trying to push damage uh any of the for circles it would be the golden golden big boy damage um, for squares, lethal damage, hex, keysor, and uh, sparkles would be multi kill levels because they have two weapon power on them. Uh, realistically, honestly, I think that two weapon power would be kind of close to this like seven luck in terms of usefulness. Uh, because I mean, I think I've the two weapon power I think technically wins, but uh, the 15% drop chance I would rather just have for compared to the sub 5k damage you're probably getting. Anywho, um, post offices, the damage box helps my Astro tremendously because of the 9% damage, um, total damage, and uh, the fight box is okay. 400 base damage, it's fine, uh, but this gets reduced by, via the damage formula, so it's not that great. Um, so you're not going to get much damage through there. Majority of the account-wide damages that Maestro truly benefits from are the, um, uh, what is the bubble 11s. Um, you're going to want to pump these as much as you can. Um, because that really, really helps. Um, and lotto skills also helps, but I don't really expect many people to be pumping. I would say to get this, like, at least level 100 just because it's fairly cheap once you start reaching to the point where you're trying to optimize maestro damage um but don't go too crazy on it it's not really needed um other things you can focus on would be stamps the steve stamp being one of the most important for maestro but uh, any of the percent damage ones are huge the other percent damage ones are just relatively small compared to steve uh, the base damage ones are okay, but again, all of the other base damage sources are reduced. 
Uh, pole arm stamp, also very good. Pole arm stamp, Steve stamp. Huge ones. Um, potion effect and golden apple stamp, also quite good. For my extra damage pushing. Um, apart from that, that uh, that's all your major sources. Um, everything past that point is just very minimal gains. Um, you could change your star signs out if you really wanted, but that would be, again, not sustainable. For sustainable damage, we've pretty much covered all of that. Um, and by sustainable, I mean like stuff that you would want to active rams in. You really don't want to be, like, for instance, you don't want to like go to rams with 12% movement speed minus, because, yeah, this the bulwark would be really strong, but for your damage, it's just not really worth it in my opinion to lose 12% movement speed um, especially when there are such other really good active um, star signs if you want to try it you can but I, I don't generally recommend it um, so yeah that would be your basic you know ways to go about maximizing your damage um, unfortunately sea stones are gonna be your best bet when rolling armor pieces because all weapon power doesn't scale well it's still useful on on maestro um but yeah that would be where you want to start off on and i mean yeah you definitely want keys or helm keys or chest scarf um double opal and uh cheese or shoes for a highest damage the this void setup and then I can go show you how massive Shrine is. So, um, so we go, what was it, from 927k to 1.41 mil. Um, and Keysor card actually will bump that up to 1.51, so another 100k just off the Keysor card alone. Which is really strong. So, in like a max damage setup, we could push pretty high. Um, yeah, already pushing 2.2 mil almost. And this is without cheese or helm, without cheese or uh, chest, without opals. Opals are super huge. Um, or ovals or anything so and this is only at 55 skillage so that would be you know the things i would focus on uh dungeon damage is another one that really helps if you can get your credits earned to at like at least 100k which is quite a lot but the total damage bonus starts scaling pretty badly after that so uh honestly you don't even really need to go to fully 100k but Whatever you can push really helps it, because, I mean, 36% damage from that is nice. Um, but yeah, apart from that, that's uh, that's really how going about maximizing my extra damage works. And yes, after you've exhausted all of those sources, then yeah, pushing skillage helps a ton, too. It's, it's a good source of it, and if you're using Crystal Countdown, it's good. But just don't neglect other sources of it. Uh, of damage on the maestro because um yeah they're they they all add up everything every little bit counts maestro is really a a class of um well all the classes really care about tiny bonuses stacking up over time but maestro because he lacks or it lacks just like the sheer damage scaling that the other classes have it really to get that ball rolling it takes a lot of work so yeah, uh, hopefully some people found this video a little bit helpful. I'm not particularly good at making this kind of stuff, but, uh, you know, it was a bit rambling. Um, um, but yeah, some someone was asking me to give my thoughts on the matter, so here you go. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it helped a little bit.